Hello everyone, today it's Games People Play by Alan Parsons Project. Uh, we're going to be learning all of the parts, so let's get to it. first thing you should learn is uh, the first chord pro progression it's gonna be a B minor so on the second fret on the second fret you're playing all the strings from A to high E and then D on the third fret G and D on the fourth fret. you play that twice then remove your fingers but the first one and play the second fret once Then play the B minor again, then remove the fingers again, play that, and then play a G. Uh, on the video you can see that the G is being played like this, without the high E and the low E. So the third fret on the B, G on the fourth fret, D and A on the fifth fret. You play that, and then you play that one more time, and then slide that up two frets to play an A, and that's the whole part. to the chorus. The chorus is also going to be pretty simple. It's uh, an E minor first, every string in on the second fret, the D, the D and the A, then the G, now with the high E and the low E on the third fret, an A, so open A and on the second fret B, G and D, and then the B minor. That's the whole chorus. not necessary you can see that on live performances sometime Alan Parsons play, plays it like this okay then we get into the bridge which is the chords we've been using until now you start by playing the B minor but you're barring the entire second fret now then play the second fret on all of the strings and then the G like this so on the third fret you're playing the B and the low E strings, the A is being muted and the open D and G are also being played. On a live performance you can see that Alan is kind of doing an, a G major 7 shape, but I prefer the sound of a normal G major chord, like this. And that's the bridge. takes us to the harmonized guitar part and then the solo. The harmonized guitar part is one, I don't know how you want to call it, rhythm or picking pattern and it happens on different parts on the guitar, three to be specific. First one is between the 7th and the ninth fret of the G and it's gonna be like this. So you start by doing a bend and release on the 9th fret of the G and then 7 and uh, twice. Then another bend on the 9th fret and then play the 9th fret twice. And then you play 7 on the G, a bend on the G string on the 9th fret and once you do the bend you play that again. The second time around is almost the same thing, 
Just that at the end when you do the bend, you don't play it again. So everything is... Okay, and at the end of this harmonized part, just when you're, got, uh, when you're about to go to the solo, you do... You finish and you go into the solo. Now the same thing happens on the 7th and 9th fret, frets of the high E, like this. The exact same rhythm. And then also on between the 15th and 17th fret of the B. So you just have to do the same rhythm on different parts of the guitar and you'll get the harmonized part. Uh, if you have different guitar play players playing at the same time. And that's the solo. The solo starts with hammer-ons from the 7th to the 9th fret of the G, 5 hammer-ons, okay, and once you reach the 9th fret, you want to kill the sound with a staccato. You do the hammer-on a 6th time, like this, and then 7th fret on G. Okay, that's the beginning of the solo then. You do a bend and release on the 9th fret of the G, pull off to 7, then a 9 to 7 on the D, 7 on the G, back to 9 and 7 on the D, and then a quick hammer on and pull off from 7 to 8 on the A, back to 7, slide to 5, 7, You do 7 to 8 to 9 on the D, 7 on the G, 7 to 9 on the D, and then the hammer on and pull up again between 7 and 8, slide down to 5. Okay, next phrase. It, that's the solo. And that, my friends, is Games People Play by Alan Parsons. See you on the next video.